Today we're going to look at the new Infrared P2 Pro. This is a thermal imaging camera for your smartphone. This is a brand new one. I just got it. I'm excited. Let's see how it looks. What do we have here? I have a package that was shipped in. And it's factory sealed. What did I get to check out today? A box within a box. This is the new Infiray P2 Pro. Now anybody who knows anything about Infiray knows what they are. This is going to be a thermal imaging unit. Which one is this? This is a macro lens for close-up work. And this is the camera itself. And this fits over top. Okay, the manuals are pretty short and to the point, except to download the P2 Pro software. And um, it says it requires Android 9 or later, which I'm running Android 10, so that should not be an issue. And uh, let's see, try to keep the equipment stable when using and avoid violent shaking or collision, you think? So this is the uh, the unit itself, and uh, I guess this is the this is the sticker's got to get pulled off the front of it here, it looks like. That comes off, and uh, I guess that's the sensor. Okay, let's just uh, try this on the uh, phone. We do have a little connection cable. Whew because uh, otherwise it would be kind of useless. Let's uh, get the connection cable plugged into the camera, like that. All right, now I'm gonna have to download some software, I'm sure. Okay, there's the software there, P2 Pro. Great, can't even read what it is, it's all in Chinese. We'll uh, install it. It's coming from Google itself, so it says verified by Play Protect is 21 megabytes in size, so let me get this downloaded and installed, and uh, we'll see how this works. So, of course, we have to go through their policy, their privacy policy and disclaimer. Well, we'll agree to it there. Okay. Easy mode. Easy temperature measurements. Next. Okay. And settings. Just tells you how you can set things up here. Okay, so we can get rid of all this. Experience now. So I'm going to plug the camera into the bottom of the phone and it should turn on automatically. And it says, please choose an app for the USB. It's uh, this one, the P2 Pro, always. And it's turned on. All right, just closed the app down and started it back up again. And there it is working. Not in focus. What if this cover just has to come off? Is that better? Okay, so that's better for close up. Maybe that might be a that might be a macro lens. Let's just see what this is. Lens for it. Let's just see here. Does it because everything's out of focus? I'm just wondering whether that brings it in close up for inspection of things that are really, really close. I'll, I'll look at the LEDs. There, there, see that's what that's for. That's a macro. Because they can get right in close and you're seeing the heat coming off of the LEDs themselves. And it just locked up. Well, it did temporarily there. But that's what that lens is for. That extra lens, this is for macro so that you can bring the camera in really close to do a close inspection. Actually, I kind of like this this little camera. It's, it's very small and can get into a lot more tight spaces than say one of the other cameras that I've reviewed which are quite large. 
uh, even the other Inf in Infinity Ray, which has the bracket on it, which is also a fairly small camera, but it's it's much bigger than this. It's got a focusable lens on it, whereas this one here, you just put the macro on or not. But um, but yeah, that uh, this makes this one very small and very convenient for looking at at hot things. And to say, right in this case, I'm looking at the the hot LEDs and so forth, and it's telling me the temperature of the different components, like the you know, these ones are 62 or 77 degrees. You see, I wonder if we can do color. Let's see, let's press the color palette. Okay, there we go. Now we can see them in different colors based on the temperature, which way is up on this thing, and we have different modes again based on different settings different colors for different temperatures wow that's pretty cool black hop so this is it tells you what what the settings are if i get a close up of the of the phone here. So we've got settings for black hot, hot iron, as it's called. I'll take off the little close up lens there so we can look at other things in, around the shop here. Red is hot, so anything that's red is hot now. You can see there. I figure out which way is up on here. Uh, up, which way is up? I guess it's that way. No, what way is it? What way do we hold this thing? So you hold it with the. Uh, this is up on the phone. When the phone is sitting this way, it's up like that. So if we're looking at the the lights on the ceiling, for example, here's a here's a prime example. We're seeing the ends of the fluorescent lights. The heaters are glowing much hotter than the rest of the tubes. So that's red hot, uh, hot iron as it's called. And this one is black hot. This one's rainbow. Rainbow two. Rainbow one. Iron red. And this one is white hot. So there's your black and white imaging very nice to do photos and video I got a button down here on the bottom of the phone so we can do photos and video I'm going to take this thing outside we're going to do some pictures with it and then we'll import the files and uh, we'll take a look at what the actual image off of the camera is once we record it but very nice and very very small as you can see look at the size of this thing this thing's tiny and you'd want to carry this obviously in its carry case to protect it it's got the two little bays in the carry case to keep the close-up lens and you've got a cover for the close-up lens because a lot of times you're not going to be using that much so you've got the close-up lens and the camera itself little little bays here in the carry case to hold it. So I'm going to take this outside, we'll do some pictures and I'll do some recordings and then we'll take a look at the actual video off the camera itself and I'll do the same stuff that I did with the other ones. I'll, I'll take shots of the of the uh, stove and stuff running but, uh, but yeah that's pretty 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 neat and if I go back into some of the other settings on here like some of the other stuff I looked at before on my other one um, you know things like my isolation transformer you can see it there Right, or my sorry, my very act. Right, and of course the, the standard black and white mode. Once again, there's the isolation transformer at the back of the bench. As you can see, it's a little bit warmer than the surrounding area, even though it's only been running for. Oh, I just turned it on maybe an hour ago as I started to do some work here to turn on some lights. 
but it is certainly warmer than the surrounding area and sticks out like a sore thumb. This time I've got an LED flashlight. We'll turn it on and uh, we should see it starting to warm up. This one doesn't get as hot as some of my other ones, so I've got some that really start to heat up quick. Actually, if I throw this on the point the beam down on the bench, we'll probably see the heat. Um, look at that, the heat coming up on the just on the wood. <laughs> the, the, the beam from the LED is heating the, the bench up. Turn it off and it's, it's still warm. You can see it cooling down. Now it's just from the heat of an LED flashlight warming up the surface of the bench here. Images are stored in your pictures directory and one called InfiniSense. And there's the there are the images that I've recorded, the MP4s that I've recorded. And they should just play or copy them right off of your your phone to your computer. Here are some images taken right off the camera. It does not record sound like the other Infinity Ray. When I'm using it, it records sound from the microphone on the camera. This one does not. There's the uh, the burner of the stove going. You can see the kettle is warmer than everything else, and of course the light over top of the range has been running, so that's warmer. But uh, that's what uh, we see coming off of the burner with the relevant other temperatures of other items in the kitchen here. You can see that that burner is at 191 degrees Celsius now and getting hotter by the second. Just cycling through the different modes. There's black hot. That was red hot, for example. So just cycling through the different color palettes. And you can do this while you're recording on the fly. We'll take it outside. Now I find that uh, this is, I don't think it's the camera that's laggy. I think it's the software on my phone. It's an old phone that I'm using. It's an old uh, Android 10 phone. And um, I know that the other camera does the same. So I don't know that it's just, this so much the, the camera. I think it's probably just the, the software on my phone is, uh, is, is old, even though the, the manual says Android 9 and above and I'm running Android 10. Uh, getting a little bit of a of a drop frames, but other than that, I mean, it still um, is recording okay, and we're able to see what uh, the temperature is of of the different areas of the picture. Putty Tat likes to always be on camera. This one here is driving me crazy because uh, this this cat's a drug addict. I swear to God. It gets into those temptation treats, you know, the ones they advertise on, on TV, well, depending on your area. But anyway, here in North America, they have the temptations treats. And it's true, because the cat cannot get enough of them. And she will drive me absolutely crazy until she gets her fix. I think it's like drugs for cats. Yeah, my cat's looking pretty psychedelic there as I, as I cycle through the different modes of... Uh, of operation black hot there that looks more like her <laughs> Siamese cat this one's pretty loud and if there was sound here you would be hearing her because she is making her opinion known that she wants something there's a shot of my old uh, I, I just use this camera to generate color bars you can see the power brick on top is a little bit warmer than the rest of it. it's powered up So that makes these infrared cameras invaluable for troubleshooting when you're looking for something that's hot. Component that's getting too hot, for example. It, they're invaluable for that type of stuff. And I've used uh, the other one I've got a couple times. I'm sure this one will find its way into some service videos coming up in the not too distant future. I'm going to keep this one here by my side in the bench because it's nice and small and compact and will be always ready to... Uh, be used when needed anyway um i think that's about all i can show you on this right now thanks for watching i'll put a link in the description bye for now